amazing impersonations of the great ladies of show business, women like Barbara Streisand, Carol Channing, and Judy Garland. Perhaps Craig Russell is now famous for his recent starring role, though, in that film called Outrageous. This evening, evening, Robin Young visits Craig Russell backstage. They talk about his special kind of performing. Hello, Dallies. Hello, Cambridge. It's so nice to be back home where I belong. I was different right from the start, you know, because uh, in kindergarten I never wanted to play with the boys. I always wanted to play with the girls. I was very lucky because my parents um, understood. My, my parents always went along they, with me. They, they, being an only child, they knew that, that was uh, that was what they were stuck with, you know. So they pretty well had to make the best of it. And um, my mother would um, would support me. Sometimes I think she cried a little because she would have preferred to have a, a doctor, lawyer, insurance underwriter. But um, I tried uh, doing some of those things, and it didn't work out. So I said, I'd rather be a star. <laughs> but whatever. Oh, thank you, the charming beloveds. Slow down, boys. Slow down. Slow down. How did most of the women respond to you? Tell me about Mae West. Tell me about how she first responded to you. Well, Mae West said, um, I don't, you make a good looking chick. Mm -hmm. She says, uh, she says, I don't mind you doing a tribute to me, but uh, just one little number. She says, I don't want you doing my whole lot. Slow down, slow down. People are so fond of you. I saw them queuing up out in the box office to do the interview. Oh, I know. You know, this old lady, she, a little tiny old lady came up and she says, Would you give me an autograph? And then I almost, I almost started crying. I, was, I really, I almost started crying. I couldn't believe it because she just, her eyes. She says, I saw the movie five times. Oh, wow, that affection, you know. I saw him in the movie, and I thought he was fantastic. What's so good about him? I've just never seen anybody who could imitate that many people without just lip-syncing or mouthing something, and it actually comes out of his voice. And I think he's terrific. We saw him in the movie Outrageous. He's a very sincere person. He's the best. I understand he has a lot of talent. I haven't caught his act yet at all. And uh, I think it'll be kind of interesting. Well, if he was that good, as they say in his movie, I saw it twice. Let's see how he does on stage. Right now, the queen of white soul, Miss Peggy Lee. Dad, I mean. the lady and finding uh, their, her alter ego, so being their alter ego, bringing out their eccentricity, finding out what's different about them. See, at a certain age, of the, that type of movie star, all be, they all become painted dolls. Lucille Ball, you know, painted doll. Peggy Lee, porcelain Botticelli angel. Carol Channing, a big mm. cartoon. Mae West, a caricature. You know, they become... You, you can't imitate uh, Diane Keaton yet, uh, Joanne Woodward, because they, they, don't, they don't paint up into, into an illusion. See, I'm into doing illusions. I'm into doing these, uh, they're almost like, it's, it's like reproducing a classical painting. Someday I'll wish upon a star and wake up when the clouds are far behind.
tried, you know, I, I really tried very hard. I had long sideburns. I had one eyebrow going right across my face. Uh, I had a mustache at one time. And I was uh, totally ignored. I was just, you know, one of the gang. One of the guys. One of the guys. And I have no desire to be just one of the guys. I tried uh, doing some of those things and it didn't work out. So I said I'd rather be a star.